Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. This is the new directed mode in Black Ops 6 Zombies, which essentially walks you through the Easter egg. So we're going to check it out for the first time today and see what it's like and see if it might be good for farming camos and just experience it. Objective started. Okay, so it's pointing me just as it usually does towards these two potential wall buys. Investigate the town. Okay, so nothing crazy so far. This also is the Goblin Mark II. That's what we're using here. And I've got the new Black Cell Mastercraft on it, which we're testing out. This is what it looks like. Look at this thing. God damn. Whoa. Oh, I'm burning up. Whoa. Okay. Ooh, a nuke at the end of round two. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Is that the end of the round? I think that's the end of the round. There's a zombie trapped in the car. All right. Let's grab that nuke. I'm moving up the rounds right now. It hasn't stopped me from going up the rounds, which is something that it's going to do at some point. At some point, it's going to prevent me from going any further. Let's hop down here. Can I hit vending machine? Is it going to let me do it? No. No vending machine. Okay. So we knew that they were going to... Bro, that zombie is not dying. What the hell? We knew that they were going to change the way it worked with side quests, but I didn't realize that something as small as this. Okay, so if I flip the round here, we were on round three just now. Look at the round counter chat. And in the bottom left, you can actually see it says round cap three. Wait, it played the new round music, <laughs> but I'm still on round three. That's so weird. That is so weird, dude. And I'm still getting points, right? I have 53, 50. 54, 65, yeah. Okay, so let's see if it will allow me to get past round three now. Let's see. So I'm going to open this door. It still says round cap three. It still says investigate the town. Okay, my round cap is now round five. But I'm still restarting round three because I did the end of round three in the spawn. And at that point, I still had the cap on. It also has increased the amount of time between rounds, it feels like. Oh, wait. Round cap is now seven. It went from five to seven. So I guess what it must have been is that it was round... Five for the first door, the door down there, and it was round seven for this door. Okay, so round seven is not a, that's not a crazy round to be at right now. So I, I feel like honestly what we should do is we should do each step at the cap, you know, just so that we absolutely are sure that we're doing it as Treyarch intended. Do you know what I mean? All right, so round cap's still seven. This might bring it up to nine. Maybe it's going to do it after the round, it's going to say. Let me grab some ammo here. Also, I've just realized I'm getting no bug round. So maybe bug round is fixed at round six. So chat, the thing I'm really curious about here is if it's going to tell me to build the jet gun or if it's going to tell me to spin the mystery box and I'm going to get into the jet gun. I fear I'm going to get into the jet gun from the box. Let's open up. Round cap nine. All right, so it's telling me now to investigate the church. I've, I've completed my objective. I have no objective. Wait, is my objective just to kill zombies then? Oh, wait. Objective started. What are they going to call this thing? Yeah, force bug round. Investigate the mysterious device. Okay. SDG generator reboot. It's illuminated. New objective. Search for clues inside of the motel room. Okay. Wait, why are we searching for clues inside the motel room now? Wait, is it going to be pre-built? No. If they pre-build the jet gun, that is the worst outcome. I, I'm, I'm worried right now. Please don't be pre-built. Okay. So we just have to walk all the way over here. Okay, that's good. That's good. Treyarch salute. I respect it. Wait for the groundskeeper to appear in the cemetery. <laughs> so they just say, wait. They don't say how long. They just say, hold the line, gamer. <laughs> All right, well, should we pack a punch, chat? We'll do the objectives as Treyarch intended, you know, as, as the Lord decreed. Is it going to give me an instant groundskeeper or is it going to still work on the same logic? Looks like it's working the same way. And we are going to hit pack a punch quite literally before I pap so I can keep this camo. There's a nuke, but I don't really want the nuke. In fact, you know what? I can get the nuke because I don't need to worry about the rounds progressing because it's going to get to round 11 and it's just going to stay there. Wait for the groundskeeper to appear in the cemetery. Now, if I leave the cemetery, is it going to tell me where the cemetery is? Okay, so you do have to think a little bit. Oh, and there is a marker on the map. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Oh, groundskeeper, where are you? Hello? Is that the groundskeeper? Oh, I thought that was him because of the jacket for a second. It's the same sort of color tone. Hey! Oh, and he had a marker on him. He had a marker, so he was outlined, chat. Let's just clear clear the area a little bit. Excuse me. So, P 
pick up the groundskeeper shed key and there is a marker over his body. Okay. Grabbed. Unlock the tool shed. Yep. Grab the handbrake. Break open the utility panel in Liberty Lanes. Okay, so it's giving me an order to do these. It's telling me to come all the way over here. Break that open. Okay, retrieve the water valve from outside Lily's flower pot. I didn't know that was what that was called. So it's really getting you to open the map by doing all this. Okay, water valve. Raise the pressure to break off the gauge from the water pressure control box. Yeah, Treyarch could have made this a little bit more efficient. They're really making you go around the houses. But honestly, if you're being guided, you deserve to do it the slow way, you know? Objective updated. Tell me. Raise the water pressure to break off the gauge from the water pressure control box. Okay, cool. So that's that's familiar, that little gauge, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't realize I had that on. Damn, that lasted no time at all. Ether Shroud kind of doo-doo. Ether Shroud really doo-doo. God damn, it takes so long to pull this thing out. Whoa! Whoa! God! A bit rude of those zombies. Okay, so they're dead. All right, break into the radio house. Well, Trax making me run around a lot, so we're going to buy this. So actually, while I'm here, I need a manga cannon. So let me just build that real quick. Wait, it's not telling me where to build it. Or like how to get one. So that's kind of good. So I guess I could, I could make a video. I could make a video that's like how to get a mangler cannon in Liberty Lanes for the noobs. You know what I mean? Because I feel like, I feel like people will, will get stuck on that if they don't know how to get a mangler cannon. Let's not completely insult people's intelligence. Dude, they, people, no, you're, you're actually just wrong. I'm afraid people are genuinely in need of that much help. It's people that don't play zombies. Like, it's not about insulting their intelligence. It's about them not knowing how the game works. Search through the debris. Okay, craft the Thrusterdyne back at the motel room. Caleb says, I play zombies every day and I didn't know that. There you go. That's what I'm saying. It's not about... Oh. Okay, well, I guess that's intel I didn't have. Nice. That's what I'm saying. It's not about insulting anybody's intelligence. It's about the fact that there's just a lot of stuff in this game and there's a lot of stuff that some people don't know. Use it to retrieve the three parts. Also, Etherella's going to be disabled, right? Let's, uh, let's suck Etherella. Yeah. No Etherella. Is it going to let me suck it through the roof? Yes. Okay, so that works fine. All right, craft the LTG device on the bank roof. No surprises there. You know what? I really feel like they, they should in this... They need to make a big deal of the fact, A, that it's here, because there's really not, there's not a big deal made of it in the game's menus. Let's grab that. Round cap reached still. Oh, I'm at 14 now. A new round cap. Retrieve the ether canister from the church. All right. Take. It's telling me to take the canister first. That's so weird. Nobody does it this way around. <laughs> also, does it tell me what a trap emitter is? Yeah, okay, it does. Yeah. So we can put it here. Objective update. Wow. That's dialogue I've literally never heard before. Because I don't normally do the steps this way around. Deploy the LTG at an ether squall. Alright, just got to do a little bit of defending here. Man, why is my gun sucking ass so much? Why does it suck so much, dude? What? Wait, what is happening? Why am I... Bro, does this thing just do no damage unless you're getting a perfect headshot? Okay, five seconds. I made it. Whew. That was a little close for... A little close for comfort there. Like, this thing is doing no damage. Is it just because it's grey rarity and I'm around 12? All right. Well, let's bring my abomination down to party town. Weaken the HVT, then kill it with a dark ether field trap. Yeah, look, chat. I can't do church easter egg. I'll just... I'll prove it to you. Look. Doesn't do anything. Does not do anything. Just walk for- I feel like Maxis and Doris, bro. Walk forwards. Stand up. Die. Die. Damn it. Thank you. God. Okay, I'm just going to put it in. I'm just going to do it normally. Equip a Strauss counter to your tactical slot. Okay. Thank you. So another vermin in there. Bro, I can't see past the sight of this damn weapon. <laughs> like, it looks cool, but that sight is so impractical. <laughs> There's so much covering my screen right now. So, I've got my Strauss counter. I'm just grabbing all the salvage, because you actually... You actually really do need it. Um, and let's just double pack. Let's do that real quick. 
It really doesn't tell you what inversely means. That's interesting. I can see that it's red here, but yellow is not the inverse of yellow. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like newer players are going to need that explained. I'm just going to see if I put it red, is it going to give me a hint here? Tune them inversely. It's not, it's not giving me a hint. Okay, so it really is just saying good luck. That's cool, I think. Green feels like the inverse of red for sure. And red feels like the inverse of green. Like, I think you can sort of work that out. But I think the yellow thing is going to confuse people. Does it not mean the inverse of high, medium, or low? Well, what's the inverse of medium? Minus medium. Yeah, I'd, I'd accept minus medium, something that literally doesn't exist, over just medium again. <laughs> I would accept that. That is, that is a valid answer. <laughs> oh, I didn't pick up the LTG, right? Oh, it hasn't told me to pick up the LTG yet. It's going to make me walk all the way back. Wait, I'm, yeah, doing this now is so strange. Treyarch really said, screw these people doing guided mode. They can walk. <laughs> so I have to just pick it up. That's it. Treyarch, you really could have told people to pick that up sooner. You really could have done. Defend the device. There you are. That's weird. That's a purple zombie that was focusing on me. I feel like purple zombies never usually target me. They always just target the portal. There we go. Bloop. Round 15. So I'm at the round cap where if I if I finish this round, it won't do anything. It will just stay on round 15 forever now. Let's honestly, let's just farm a bit. Let's just like farm some headshots and just see if it'll let me just completely farm. Oh, well, I'm farming. I do be kind of farming. So yeah, I changed the round as you guys could see just then. And we're still on round 15. So I can just farm headshots forever. Enter vault combination. Oh, it looks like it's going to work. 58, 40, 39. It works. So they don't count this as a side Easter egg. Interesting. And no keys have dropped. And none will continue to drop, I guess. Like, maybe that's what counts as an Easter egg for them. But yeah, it's free essence. So I'll take the I'll take the free essence, I suppose. All right, let's do what the Lord Treyarch intended. And let's... Oh, it just says survive. Okay. I feel like... I feel like there's room to make a guide for directed mode. I'm not going to lie, guys. I think people would find that useful. There's going to be people that just struggle in this fight. Like, that's going to happen. And I would rather help those people than just leave them to struggle with the regular guides. Like, I might as well give them a little bit of extra love. Like, those people are not going to know that Napalm is good on Manglers. And they're not going to know you need the Augment to do damage to Elites. So yeah, I think I definitely, I definitely will, I definitely will try and make a video helping those people out. Is his name Grog Boss? Bro, gro the Grog Boss is here, chat. Not the Grog Boss. Anything but the Grog Boss. <laughs> I kind of want to say, like, take out the Mangler before you take out the Abomination. Just because the Mangler is going to, like, snipe you and that's going to be annoying. I also kind of want to say take out the Vermin, because the Vermin are really annoying. There we go. So that's Easter egg complete. So I'm going to end this here, and I'm going to see what it does. Oh, it just ends the game. And then is it going to give me anything special for doing it in directed mode? Battle pass XP, baby. Okay, is that what we would expect? I had a double XP token and I only got two things from that entire match. That seems really slow to me. Regardless, that's directed mode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you back here again for the Terminus directed mode.